Hi everybody, I'm gonna show you how to make the most incredible shredded beef using chuck steak. This is three and a half pounds and we're gonna do it sous vide style. Check it out. Now for pulled beef or shredded beef, one of the cuts that makes the best, in my opinion, is chuck steak. Now chuck steak is usually really tough. People stay away from it. When it comes to shredded beef, this is the cut I would recommend you get because we're gonna go low and slow for a long time in the sous vide. When we're done, you won't believe the results. Now I just finished sous vide 36 hours. We're actually going close to 40 hours and 175 degrees. Let's take a look and see what we ended up with. Now this is that three and a half pound chuck. <laughs> look at this. This is full of juice in here. We're actually gonna save this because when we shred it, put it back in, we're gonna add our barbecue sauce and you're gonna have the best shredded beef you've ever tasted in your life. Now, one of the things about sous vide is you don't get any smoky flavor like you do out on the grill. This was seasoned up heavily with some dry rubs and a marinade. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out, dry it off, then we're gonna go out on the smoker. We're gonna put some smoke on this baby for a couple hours and then when we're done, we're gonna have smoky shredded beef that's gonna absolutely blow your mind. And we're gonna use this rack to put it on, because if we don't, it's gonna fall apart. So once we put this on the rack, we're gonna put it in the barrel smoker, gonna get that smoke going, absolutely incredible. When we're done, you're gonna definitely wanna try this because it is by far, I think, the best way to do shredded beef, sous vide, smoked, and then we're gonna go and hit it with a hot sear, get a little bit of crispy on the outside, mixed up so you get that crunchy with that tenderness. And then we'll put our barbecue sauce on and then we'll be doing mm, 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 mm. Can't wait. Now the great thing about sous vide is you have instant au jus. I mean, this stuff is primo. It is so much juice. We're gonna actually extract this out of the bag and we wanna save that because this is gonna be the amazing part we're gonna add in to keep this beef super juicy and tender. So we're gonna go ahead and extract this out and just hit the corner a little bit. Okay, here we go. So here we have our chuck. Look at this. This is deliciousness. Now we're gonna get a layer of fat on top of here. We're gonna separate that out. So all we have is pure juice from this beef. Extract the fat. We don't need the fat. It's gonna actually harden up and congeal, which we don't need. And this combined with the beef and the barbecue sauce after we get done smoking it on the barrel smoker is gonna give this the absolutely most incredible flavor you'll ever taste on shredded beef. So this is my fat separator. I really like this. You fill it up, it's gonna congeal at the top and then all the liquid will come out the bottom. So it's really handy. So we'll go ahead and put this in here like so. And it's got a little bit of a big strainer and it gets kind of the big pieces of meat or the big chunky stuff on top. You'll see here, I'll show you in a second. And as you can see here, there's all the stuff on top that's been trapped and all you have is pure liquid. We'll go ahead and put this in the fridge. It will congeal the fat and we'll drain that beef juice out or that au jus. And we're gonna add that back in to our shredded beef to keep it moist throughout the entire process. As we eat it and we put it in the fridge and take it out and reheat it, it will still be super, super juicy. And we're gonna go and take this out, set it on a rack, and then we'll go and put it on the smoker. It's gonna take me about a half hour to get the charcoals nice and hot. We're gonna add some fantastic wood that we'll talk about as well during this on how to get that really great smoking flavor and what would I use for this chuck steak. Now this is really tender. It's gonna fall off the bone. It's a bone in, which is what you want. So we're just gonna get it really lightly out here for the smoking process. Because if I take this and pull it, it's gonna just shred apart. And we wanna keep it all together until the smoking is done. And there we go. Beautiful chuck. All the fat has been rendered out that was holding it together so you can see we have these areas where there's no more fat. It's just the meat. And the bone on this, just, and look at that. Now you know why I love sous vide so much. So here we go, out in the smoker, I'll show you the rest of the process. Now I have a lot of smokers. I use them all for different purposes, but when it comes to rapid smoke, intense smoke on my meat quickly to get that flavor, I'm gonna use some incredible pecan wood. Now in Texas, you gotta be careful because if you call it pecan, they'll pull the can out from under the bed and tell you this is a pecan. You wanna talk about pecan. Now when we go ahead and smoke in our barrel, I love coconut charcoal. 
This is Zenfire coconut charcoal. I'm using the hex and I have the briquettes. Had some left over, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this started up. And we're gonna put our wood chunk on here. You're gonna get that nice smoke going. And that barrel is going to circulate around that meat with an incredibly smoked pulled beef. Now I place the coals inward towards these two vents that we'll have open. Now that's going to let the air hit those charcoals and get that smoke really going. Versus turning around the other way, you have the air that's going to be farther away from the inlets. So I like it towards the inlets because we'll get that air coming in and blowing. That'll keep the wood nice and stoked. We don't have to go super hot. We're going to crank these down and we're gonna use some incredible wood from cutting edge firewood. And let me tell you something, cutting edge firewood is an awesome company. I wanna thank them so much for supplying me for my wood chunks, for my smoking. And what's really nice is you can order the variety pack, just lost the message there, and it comes with oak, pecan, cherry, and hickory. So you can take your pick. And for this one, I'm gonna use pecan we talked about. So here's the pecan wood, this is the sampler. And the thing I like about them is all of their chunks are perfectly cut the exact same size, beautiful chunks of wood for your smoking. And in this sampler, we've got one, two, and we've got three really nice pecan chunks. Uh, we're only gonna need probably one of these, so we're gonna start with one, put this on, and you're gonna see the smoke going. Then we'll go and get our meat, put that on, and let it go for a couple hours. So here I've got my charcoal tong, whatever you wanna call it, and I use this to put my wood down in here. So we're gonna set the wood down inside right on top of the charcoal and in just a few minutes that's going to start smoking and we're going to have fantastic smoke for our chuck as you can see in a couple minutes and this wood smokes so fast it's dried perfectly i love the quality of the wood there's no knots really clean and i'm getting that incredible smoke so we're going to put our meat on and get going we have a beautiful chuck steak ready to go let's go ahead and get this in here oh look at that And we're gonna close our vents down because we don't wanna burn this wood up really quickly. I'm shutting these vents down on the gateway about maybe an eighth of an inch. And we'll go maybe an eighth of an inch up on top. You'll see the smoke as it starts coming out. It's gonna actually lighten up. You should not have super heavy white smoke. That's gonna be bitter. So you wanna cut down the air flow in here and let that smoke roll out and get some nice blue smoke going. About two hours, we'll come back and we'll check it out. So it's cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny. It drives me crazy with the lighting. I'm two hours in, been using cutting edge firewood. It is amazing. I mean, this thing's still putting out smoke. I don't know how much longer I can go, but three hours on a piece of wood that good, maybe four, I don't know. Plenty of smoke, we're not gonna go any longer. Looks fantastic. It's our meat smoked. And we're gonna go ahead and probably fire it off and sear it, get a little crispiness on the top. We'll take it in, add our liquid, add our barbecue sauce, shred it up, and then we're gonna have some absolutely delicious shredded beef. Let's get a little searing action going on this. It's gonna just fall apart if I try to turn it over. Looking good, got that crispy fat. Oh, smells, mm, so good. So we pulled our chuck from the smoker. Two hours, pecan wood. <clears throat> it smells absolutely incredible and really nice smoke on there. And we're gonna go ahead and shred this. And I wanted to show you with the glass bowl so you can see all the action going on. Here's our fat separator. Look how cool this is. Put it in the freezer for a little bit. I'm gonna get that fat cap on top. We're gonna go ahead and press the button and all the au jus is gonna come out and it's gonna leave the fat in the container. Okay, this is the really fun part. You get to shred the meat. So we're gonna take this off. We'll set this in here. Got some fat and we're gonna leave that. Look at this, fat just comes right off. Put that in there. This, this is Wagyu fat, and you can see, look at this. It's just, we're not gonna throw this out. That's, that's yummy right there. Yummy goodness. And then there's a little bit of skin there. We're gonna go ahead and tendon, take that off, although it's buttery tender. And uh, keep this piece out. It's fat, it's Wagyu fat. Oh, watch it. Oh, mmm. That's so flavorful. If you like bone marrow, you're gonna love, you're gonna love this. This is like the best in the world. And we'll go ahead and make sure that everything in here is edible, nothing tough. And it's really tender. You'll see me pull it apart here in just a second. Everything else is good. So now we just get to have some fun. And before we do that, 
about some Aji. Here we go. Okay, start with that and see how it looks. Add that moisture back in. And this is what sous vide does. Look at this. I mean, you just cannot. I mean, it's like fall apart. It's what you want. Shredded. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. It's amazing. A little taste test before the sauce. Oh, oh, smoke. Mmm. That's a good. Not overpowering. Mmm. I'm going to add all that as you back in. Look at that. This is how you keep your pulled or shredded beef from drying out. We're going to go and just shred this by hand. It's super easy, but I want to shred it really well. Uh, that fat that I put in there, we're going to mix it all in so that fat gets in that beef. Man, it's just oh, something cathartic about this. And we're not done because we're going to add our Carolina sauce in from Lily's Q, favorite sauce company. They have so many great sauces. Yeah, this is amazing. And we're going to make an incredible shredded beef sandwich. Please like and subscribe to the post, especially after you see the sandwich coming up. Bonus footage. And then we're going to take this and we're going to add our sauce to it. Look how moist that is. Super moist. I'm going to go ahead and add our Carolina sauce. This is the final piece that uh, we're gonna go ahead and top off with. Mix that up. Your friends and family, barbecue buddies, they're gonna say, oh my God, how is this so moist? Well, I just showed you all the tricks and the secrets to getting it that way. The nice thing is, we still have Aji left over. I'm gonna keep this because we can use this for some other stuff that we'll cover uh, in some other videos. Check out my Instagram and you will see all of it in action. Still moist, but I want to get even more of that sauce on there, okay? We need really good. We don't want it swimming in it, but we would definitely want to get that saturated. We want to get everything super, super coated with the Lily's Q. And now we'll have to do a little taste test with the sauce. Here we go. Oh, the juice is just exploding in your mouth. Mmm. The smokiness of the pecan wood. Wow. That's absolutely scintillating. Check it out. Get yourself a sous vide if you don't have one. Watch this video, save it, send it to your friends. Anybody who wants to make the best shredded beef, this is the recipe, this is the technique that I use. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Till next time, smoke on, baby!